back again with another one. Another one, another one. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. It's Big Vic TV. Welcome to my world. It's my world. Give me a thumbs up just for this intro. What is up, guys? It's Tommy Big Vic, and we are back in here with a brand new video. And today I am inside of Scalar 2. So, Scalar 2 has some super, super new flavor that has been added to it, as I think I showed you guys in a previous video. Um, I'm using it today, and I made a track that was super, super inspired by the new Nas album that just dropped this new out this new Nas album is super fire y'all so as I listened to it I got inspired you know I'm kind of always like in that 90s zone anyway when I am making my production for the most part you know when I do my big Vic stuff you know and not just the stuff for YouTube so I had to use Scalar I went inside of Scalar and used that to help me just kind of put some chords together like nothing nothing like super super technical but super simple inside of scalar 2 so what i want to do is jump over into scalar 2 jump over into reason suite 11 one of the most slept on digital audio workstations that's out right now is reason so we yes we're in reason again so i'm gonna go inside of here and show you guys how i made this track using scalar 2 as the base of my chord kind of idea for this track so let's jump over here and see what we got all right so as i went inside of scalar 2 i just kind of went ahead and found some chords if you hear this chord right here we're in the minor scales so i jumped over here to grab something like that something like that So I started with like the three, went to the one. So that was pretty much my loop, you know, my pattern. So basically from there, I just kind of captured the MIDI. First I recorded the MIDI in Scalar 2. Then I just dragged the MIDI over to my instrument that I wanted to use that came out of heat up three so i basically built my entire track around this particular this particular chord set so let's go in here and let you guys hear it pretty much sound the same just a different instrument and once again we grab this out of these are some pads out of heat up three and i'm using the afro trap expansion so I basically, I stacked, I went in here and I stacked another instrument. Let's see which instrument this was. Back inside of Heat Up 3, I think I used the Afro Trap for this again. I grabbed some keys out of here, the Spirit Keys. And these keys sounded like this on top of the pads. Let's remove the pads. Add the pads back. So from there, I went and had to find some drums that put me, you know, right in that 90s. Kind of gave me that 90s feel. Some nice hard drums. To me, hard drums. So... I grabbed some drums, of course. Uh, grab some drums and the drums go like this. So from there, I wanted to add a little more percussion hi-hats just to give it a little more flavor. So I started 
with this particular loop set up hi-hats right here <laughs> And from there, I wanted to add another set of hi-hats to add just a little more movement for the beat. All right. So let's add these in. So y'all kind of know that's, that's usually like my normal formula that I use when I'm constructing a track. So after that, y'all know I had to get the bass, right? So I went in back inside of Heat Up 3 and I found this Gotham bass. And the bass sounds like this. All right, so the bass, and then I just added one more element to this. And back in Heat Up 3 again, I added some bells, a Leo bells. And let me solo those bells really quickly, so just so you'll know what that. So this more, this more than likely would go for the chorus part. This will drop in for a chorus and drop out for the verse, of course. <laughs> So, you guys know that Scalar 2 right now is probably kind of up there when it comes to, you know, helping you look for creating chords, um, helping you just kind of create new melodies, variations of melodies that you can do with chords. Like, I'm going to do another track using Scalar and probably make something a little something that sounds a little more complicated but really isn't once you kind of work your way around scalar 2 and know exactly what you're doing to create whatever you want to create in scalar 2 to make you sound like you picasso on the keys you feel me so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're digging that beat make sure you drop a comment below let me know what you think of the beat it sounds like it should have went on a nas album to be honest with you but i just made it so i missed the cut and shout out to hit boy because he really laced that new nas album that album is that's that you can just push play and let that one ride shout out to nas for bringing us back to the 90s on this new album all right once again y'all hit that thumbs up shout out to the new subscribers old subscribers everybody that's still rocking with me it's your homie big vic man always hustle never stop growing and i will see y'all in my next video peace Thank you.